Welcome. In front of me is a Realme uh, 12X, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Before I get any further with the uh, actual method, I am going to quickly mention that we will need a secondary phone. That phone can be any kind of Android device. All it needs is access to Google Play Store, and there is a rare instance that like very low end devices, the ones that cost like $100 or so, might not work with this. As we will need to, on this device, download the phone clone application. And uh, the very cheap devices do not support draw over other apps uh, function. It's disabled for uh, resource purposes and such a device will not work. But like I said, that is in a rare scenarios where you have a very cheap device. Uh, for the most part, 90% of the devices should be just good to go. Um, so, there we go. And another thing that we'll need is internet connection. Now with that being out of the way, uh, let's talk about the locked device. So we can see it's uh, locked using the pattern right now. And if I close this, it's going to tell me to verify it using the Google account. There we go. So, to get started with the actual bypass, we're gonna go to the Wi-Fi connection page, like this one. So, if you're at the beginning of the setup, you will need to progress forward and then connect to your network. Now, if you have already uh, seen the verification page, like it was for me, then back out to this page. Next, you're gonna click on the uh, eye icon for the information. and. Uh, Obviously, you want to do it uh, on the network that you are connected to, as this gives us the share option. If I were to go back and, for instance, select this on the network that I'm not connected to, you can see the share option is not visible here. So, that's what you want to select. I am going to hover my hand over the screen as this does show the QR code for the network, so you can easily connect to it and, and on this device it might even show the password. So, I do want to kind of like block it. And yep, there is even a password. Uh, so the password is like right above. But in any case, uh, I am just blocking part of it. Uh, but you want to click right here, quick share. And then I'm gonna select continue. Okay, so it's not showing anymore. So we're gonna select continue. And from here, so let me quickly catch up. Um, so, I think we're gonna go into settings right here. Yep, settings. Learn more about Quick Share. And you wanna click on the three dots, select Share Article, and choose Chrome. I'm gonna select Use Without an Account. And uh, since sometime uh, this kind of gets stuck, so even though we selected it and nothing happens, if you click again, it's going to close it. So we're just gonna repeat this process. We're gonna select Share Article. Roam, and this time around it's going past the uh, user without an account. So here we're going to select no thanks. And in the search bar, you want to type hard reset.info slash bypass. Like so. Next, scroll down. And somewhere here, you will find settings up. Click on it. This will actually open up the actual settings up on the phone. And next, you want to select home screen and lock screen, and then home screen layout. And this glitches out and takes us to the home screen. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, we are not even nearly done with the bypass. We just glitched our way here so we can open up an application. I'm also gonna explain one more thing that we'll utilize later on, and I'm gonna say right now what, uh, why we're not doing it right away. So later on, we're gonna go into the settings and perform a reset of the device. Uh, but even though we had settings open right now, we could have gone through the reset, but the reason we didn't do that is because right now for what did the device thinks, it's right now in the setup process. That's why we have missing buttons from the bottom, like the home and the recent applications. We still have the lock icon right here. Uh, so the device is still in a setup process. We just glitched into the home screen. 
Uh, if we were to do a reset of the device through settings, it would just go back to being locked. Uh, later on, we're going to utilize that it is, and it's going to work because the device will think or know that it has completed the setup. So it changes uh, how the, what the reset will actually, actually reset and remove. So anyway, uh, let's swipe to the next page right here. I'm looking for the app. Oh, there we go. So it's actually on the first page right here, tools, and you have the clone phone application. You want to open it up and then select that this is a new device. Allow, allow, and then select uh, that you're migrating data from other Android. And this generates a QR code. So I'm gonna just move it to the side. Now going to our other device. There we go. Uh, you want to now open up your Play Store. And here you wanna to go to search and search for clone phone. There we go. Now, I do want to clarify this. This is a uh, OnePlus device, and technically I could just open up the OnePlus uh, version of Clone Phone, uh, and it would work. But for the purposes, I am going to be looking for the Clone Phone. I'm not actually sure which one I'm supposed to look for. Let's quickly check on the guide. If it specifies. So on the, uh, on the guide, it says to download this one, the Oppo one. Uh, now the reason the OnePlus, Oppo and uh, Realme kind of, or works with Realme is because they're all technically one big company. And these applications are basically the same apps with just a different look. So I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna select install. Can't install Oppo Clone Phone. Try again. Okay, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. Let's try it again. Now it could be that I'm using OnePlus, so that's why it's not allowing me this. But it's in a kind of odd situation. I haven't really encountered that before. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the OnePlus version of it, which should be somewhere here, I presume, somewhere. Nope. Oh, there we go, clone phone. Uh, this is all the device. Now, uh, the applications, the Oppo one that you're gonna download looks exactly the same. So nothing different here. You can also see that the one that I opened up here also looks uh, basically the same. The only difference is the colors. Now with any kind of pop-up, you do want to select allow or while uh, allow while using the app. And there we go. As you can see, it now allows us to scan the QR code. So I'm just gonna hover it over this QR code and it's connecting and it's connected. So as you can see, like I said, these are basically all the same applications and I can uh, achieve the same exact thing no matter which one I download. Uh, now by default, the phone will uh, try to basically import everything that is on the device. We're gonna deselect everything by clicking uh, right here and then clicking once more. And then you wanna scroll down to apps, click on the text itself. This will open up the uh, apps that you have installed on your device. And from here, find an application that takes the least amount of space, which I believe probably will be Facebook as it's in kilobytes. And uh, yeah. I, I'm not even gonna look any further. So yeah, I'm gonna select Facebook. Now, in your case, you might not have Facebook installed on your phone. It's okay, just choose anything that is. If it's not in kilobytes, then choose anything in like megabytes that it has like tens of megabytes. Anything bigger uh, obviously will take longer to transfer it over. So uh, that's why you're looking for the smallest size. Click on okay, and then select next. Start migrating, start migrating. And we need to put in some code, so let's do that. So ZJ, this is the first time I'm actually seeing that, and it looks like it, uh, it is uh, case sensitive, so let's get rid of that. ZJ, A, G, 7, 5, 4, 6. Transfer complete, that's cool. 
and here it just moved over so anyway i'm gonna shift it to the middle now in my case it says that it successfully copied one application which you can see right over here um the reason i'm pointing that out is because you might actually see that it failed it does not matter if it failed it's going to say it could say failed one and it be in red it does not matter don't worry in both cases it worked so we're gonna click on done and we're back in the setup stage of the device and right now we can just choose to skip the unlock method later and then finish up the setup uh, now what you might have to see that happened is we just skipped over the verification portion of the setup so we're gonna select get started and this will take us to the home screen and there we go next uh, you want to now navigate into the settings which basically goes back to what i was saying before and in here we're going to scroll all the way down to additional settings swipe down select backup and reset reset phone erase all data erase all data and you want to press on that button once again to erase all data this will begin a automatic reset of the device removing all the data from the phone which doing it through settings with the device set up includes the protection that is on this phone uh, that'd be the google account or the screen lock that was previously used as a verification method at the beginning of the video it's going to be completely deleted and once the reset is finished you can go through the setup of this phone in whatever way you want as it's going to be fully unlocked so with that uh, being said i'm not going to go through the reset myself i am going to be recording this as a separate simple reset video uh, so if you're interested in seeing me go through this you can just check out the reset uh, but that being said it is a fully automatic process there's not much to show just go through the reset and then set up your phone however you want so with that being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching